hello friends next topic we will see is the modified modified amperes circuital law in the previous lecture we had seen the ampere circuital law in the point form which is given by curl of magnetic field intensity equals to current density vector that is del bar cross h bar equals to j bar but this equation is applicable only for the static fields that is for the static magnetic field which produce dc current that is direct current but if the field is a time varying field that is the field changes with time in that case this equation does not hold good we need to modify this equation we need to add something in that equation which will make perfect this equation to the time varying field to the time varying field so with this i am introducing the time varying concept the field which changes with time is known as your time varying field this time varying field can be the time varying electric field or time time varying magnetic field so let us first see the time varying magnetic field and its effect so if we have with us a time varying magnetic field so in that case the ampere circuital law in the point form get modified from this equation so we will see how this equation gets modified so we start with the ampere circuital law in a point form which is given by curl of magnetic field intensity equals to current density vector now taking a divergence on both side taking divergence so divergence means del bar dot on both side we have with us del bar dot del bar cross h bar equals to del bar dot j bar but we know that as per the identity of the vector which is divergence of curl of any vector is essentially equals to zero so this means that del bar dot del bar cross h bar equals to zero and it means that del bar dot j bar it is also equals to zero but we know that del bar dot j bar it is equals to minus del by del t into rho v which is nothing but your current continuity equation and therefore we can say that del bar dot j bar is not equals to zero and therefore we can say that something is there in this equation something in is there in this equation which makes this equation not equals to zero either it should satisfy this equation condition that is divergence of curl of a vector equals to zero or this should be the condition to satisfy that is del by del t of rho v rho v it should be equals to zero this is possible only for what rho v equals to zero that is for a charge free region we can say that rho v equals to zero and in that case if rho v equals to zero so it means that del bar dot j bar equals to zero but we are considering here the time varying field concept so it means that field value changes with time sometime the value of the field may is maximum value of the field sometime we have with us minimum value of the field it means that we don't have with us a static static field 
and therefore we can say that in that case rho v will not be equals to 0 and therefore we can say that del bar dot j bar will not be equals to 0 and therefore we introduce a new term that is we are modifying this equation as del bar cross h bar equals to j bar plus j d bar we are introducing a new term which is known as your j d bar now again we are applying taking a divergence over here so therefore we have with us divergence of del bar cross h bar equals to del bar dot j bar plus j d bar now again we know that that is a divergence of a curl of a vector it is equals to 0 and therefore LHS of this equation will be equals to 0 which is equals to del bar dot j bar plus j d bar I am writing in simplified form again that is del bar dot j bar plus j d bar equal to 0 applying a divergence over this bracket we have with us del bar dot j bar plus del bar dot j d bar it will be equal to 0 therefore we have with us del bar dot j bar plus del bar dot j d bar equal to 0 but as per the current continuity equation this del bar dot j bar this del bar dot j bar this term it is equals to minus del by del t of rho v plus del bar dot j d bar equal to 0 so therefore I am simplifying this equation minus del by del t of rho v equals to minus del bar dot j d bar minus sign minus sign will cancel each other now we have with us equation that is del by del t of rho v equals to del bar dot j d bar now as per the gauss theorem in the point form we have with us del bar dot d bar equal to rho v bar equals to rho v so we can say that rho v equals to del bar dot d bar substituting this value in the above equation so we have with us del by del t of del bar dot d bar equals to del bar dot j d bar so therefore I am taking this partial derivative inside the divergence and keeping the divergence operator outside this bracket so therefore del bar dot del by del t of d bar bracket equals to del bar dot j d bar now cancelling the divergence operator from the both side that is del bar dot del bar dot so we have with us del by del t of d bar equals to j d bar and therefore j d bar equals to del by del t plus d bar so this is the new term which we introduce in the modified form of the ampere circuit law so in the initial case we have defined the modified ampere circuit law as del bar cross h bar equals to j bar plus j d bar so therefore it will be equals to it will be equals to j bar plus del by del t of d bar now we know that this j bar as per the ohm's law can be given as sigma into e bar plus del by del t now we know that this del d bar that is electric flux density equals to epsilon into e bar epsilon into e bar so writing this value over here we can say that del by del t of epsilon into e bar which is equals to del bar cross h bar so this is the modified form of the ampere circuital law applied to the time varying field thank you